My name is uh, Anna Karin Rosén. I am the managing director of Saab Limited, which is uh, Saab's local entity uh, in the UAE for development and uh, manufacturing. We started the company in uh, 2018 with the good help of uh, Tawazan and, and also the local authorities here. We're focusing on developing new products and, and they are fully developed uh, in the UAE. We don't transfer technology, we, we create it here. Well, our first areas of uh, interest is uh, sensor technology and then telecommunications and that's why we're here today. The product name is DeployNet and it is a uh, mobile deployable telecommunications network and then I will let Matthias tell you the details about it but uh, we're very proud to be able to launch a locally developed product. My name is Matthias Schellström. I work for Saab here in the UAE. We are now during this trade show launching the DeployNet which is a self-contained independent and private LTE and 5G network providing broadband for crisis operations, uh, defense operations. It works like you are simply bringing this out to your operation area. Two men would do that, set it up and make it operational in 30 to 60 minutes. You will then have a network bubble of uh, broadband which is going to provide you with a uh, possibility to stream video in uh, any direction, uplink or downlink. You're going to have the capability of exchanging data with a very high throughput and bandwidth and uh, push to talk applications. Well, the distance is typically very dependent of the frequency band being available. This is relying upon a civil telecommunication standard which is under the acronym 3GPP. The range would be at the minimum a kilometer with a, a decent bandwidth and up to tens of kilometers. So we're enhancing the security features with regards to cyber of the system, which is traditionally not maybe there for a equivalent civil kind of networks. We're providing an end-to-end -end solution, meaning that it's from the device through the whole network to the other device, as well as we are doing enhancements with regards to the resilience of the network in order to mitigate risks of somebody taking down the existence of the network bubble, so to say. Within the uh, electronic unit, there is the so-called core network, which is providing the intelligence of the network, you could call it, and providing the self-sustaining attributes of it. Also, there is support for the radio processing and generation of, of the radio network, so to say, in the electronics box. All this under environmental ruggedization standards. We are in the finalization stages of it. We are running a project which is uh, in an iterative stage. We have the first baseline here. We will do enhancements in the future, such as, for example, integrating applications, like command and control, and that kind of uh, application support, push to talk, and so on. But uh, with regards to what you see here, is something that is operational. There are no limitations that we set to this. There are many different applications for it, anything from defense, training, logistic operations, to disaster relief, earthquakes, forest fires, I think this is a state-of-the-art system that is providing a fantastic capability. It is a uh, capability that is resolving many of the issues of uh, a limited bandwidth in an operational area for a crisis. 